uh, let's get straight into it. If the Switch 2 releases in Q1 2025, it will be a full three years after the launch of the Steam Deck. At that point in time, would Nintendo be able to deliver a, a device that is at least as powerful as the Deck at a mass market price point of 299 US dollars, the launch price of the original Switch? Oliver, what do you think about this one? I, I think that's a good question. Uh, in terms of the raw specifications, I don't really think so because we're looking at an older process for the T239. Probably it's going to be an 8 nanometer process versus a TSMC 7 nanometer process for the uh, for the Steam Deck for the Van Gogh APU, and that the T39 will T239 rather will probably come in at very reduced wattages for portable play, which I think is probably where people are most interested in that comparison. In docked yeah. mode, the idea of parity is more plausible. Again, they probably are operating at you know, somewhat comparable wattages, the Steam Deck at up to 15 watts, and maybe this device, if it follows the same trajectory as the original, or original Switch, maybe up to 10 or 12 watts or something in that vicinity, or maybe higher. I don't think $300, though, is very plausible. I think $400 is probably more likely, given the advances in technology in this new product. But I, I think a more important question to me is not so much how much hardware power is there in the device, but it's how games leverage that hardware power. And in customizing games around the capabilities of the T239 in particular, potentially around DLSS or ray tracing capabilities, I think games might run pretty well on the Switch uh, 2, hypothetical Switch 2 relative to the Steam Deck. So mm -hmm. I think in terms of the actual capabilities of, of the device, it might actually be pretty close or in some cases superior to the Steam Deck. But in terms of that raw hardware power, I think probably it will fall short of that. That's just my suspicion. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Alex? Uh, yeah, one thing I've always been a little bit about curious about with the Switch 2 is which process node it'll be on. Uh, yes, because which is, the, which is the big point of contention because uh, T234 uh, is an 8 nanometer Samsung part. Uh, we can go, I'll go into that shortly, but yeah, carry on. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, you can also go into that. I almost think you can just go into that straight away. Cause okay, <laughs> yeah, so, so here's the thing, right? Um, in theory, I mean, all of the rumors that have some credibility at the moment are pointing it to be an eight nanometer device uh, or chip rather, which in turn is essentially a tweaked version of a 10 nanometer node from Samsung, which isn't great. Um, it's gonna, It would be a big chip, but it would be cheap to produce in terms of cost uh, per transistor, just like the Tegra X1 was back in the day. And uh, on top of that, what it means is that three years, four years on further down the road, uh, the existing uh, cutting edge nodes, you know, your four nanometers, your five nanometers would be sufficiently cheap that Nintendo can produce a battery enhanced, you know, battery life enhanced version of the same model. That's that's sort of like theory A at the moment. Theory B is that, well, a lot of people are assuming it's going to be eight nanometer, first of all, because T234 was, and secondly, because the Ampere architecture was built on eight nanometer. But it has been pointed out to me that um, there are enterprise implementations of Ampere that are on seven nanometer. Just food for, food for thought, right? Mm. Uh, that would solve a lot of problems. You'd be on the same node then as the Steam Deck original, I guess. Yeah. Um, so it kind of adds a lot to the sort of viability of that device. Um, it's a bit frustrating that it looks like we are looking at this quarter one or 2025 quarter, um, quarter one um, delay, quote unquote delay for a device that never had a, a, a release date announced. Um, but yes, I mean, that's that's basically what we're looking at here. There's just so many unknowns and we aren't likely to get any new information on that anytime soon, unless like the original Switch one, we had that uh, leak that seemed to come from the Foxconn uh, manufacturing plant right some guy in there who just saw the, the original switch being stress tested <laughs> uh, uh yes so you know that's the way i see it 299 um well valve who aren't short of money have been talking about how much of a uh, financial strain the steam deck was that was 399 right so yeah that does seem a bit um uh, implausible to me mm -hmm. um yeah anything to add to that based uh on that that swathe of exposition <laughs> i would say the interesting thing is if it it is the samsung process eight nanometer which is actually like 10 um and was power inefficient as we, we saw with uh, ampere uh kind of was in in comparison to things on smaller nodes 
and especially in comparison to Ada Lovelace, my goodness. Um, <laughs> Uh, what you what you would find there is I think that the default clocks of Switch to Gen 1 would be much more limited for the power battery life than it could have been if it were on some smaller process, yeah. which is interesting. Yeah. It's kind of like the original, like the original Tegra there could clock much higher than what the Switch was. I think Switch default clocks are like half of what it was almost. Right. Maybe that's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's uh, it's 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 drastically reduced. Yeah, certainly on the CPU side, that was running at almost like one point eight gigahertz. You got one gigahertz. Right, exactly. So uh, that's what it yeah. was. So yeah. that's what I would imagine happening, and that kind of like already dampens what it what it could be possible of, just because of the original note it's produced on. Yeah, just for power I mean, reasons. The two nine nine price point seems implausible simply because you've got a new chip, and it could be a large chip. It could be a relatively cheap chip to produce because i don't think there's going to be much demand for eight nanometer and if it is on seven nanometer the the demand would be reduced there Mm -hmm. um might you know but at that point why aren't you on six nanometer which is where the console manufacturers like microsoft and sony have gone to to produce right or at least to mitigate the costs it's all looking a bit sort of strange for a 299 price point and you'd want a decent screen. I mean, you know, Sony put out the portal for $200 and there's basically not much in it. So I think one other thing that I'd like to note about this is the T239, to my knowledge, it's always been the T239 product. We've had the T234 and then the T239. And what uh, NVIDIA tends to do with their process shrinks is they rename them, right? So the 20 nanometer Tiger X1 was the, uh, I think, the T... Uh, 210 and then the 16 yep. nanometer Marico was uh t214 right so yeah. unless this device was always on seven nanometers or always on six or always on five or whatever node we think it might end up on then it wouldn't it, it would have had to have been on that process the entire time and never been designed for eight nanometers which is another wrinkle yeah. because i think probably this device if it was shrunk would have been designed for eight first and then maybe with the delay would have been redesigned that's my own personal uh, suspicion so i think that also mm-hmm. indicates maybe that this isn't a, on a lower process node right mm. well, I, I think the chances are pretty low and you know given the choice nintendo always goes for value over performance um so yeah i mean <laughs> the original i think it was the 3ds there was actually a concept for an original tegra version i think there was even yeah. a dev kit board uh, photo leaks at one time and we ended up getting something significantly less capable but that is the old Nintendo right the new Nintendo I mean you know if this device is everything that we suspect T239 is then it is going to have tensor cores it is going to have ray tracing cores it's going to be quite exciting um, 299 though seems unlikely <laughs> <laughs> 